Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do examples where we find the area combined for positive and negative areas. So in the previous video, we worked out uh, positive and negative areas separately. Now we're going to be looking at when they are combined. So we're going to be doing two examples, one about the x-axis and one about the y-axis. So here's our problem. We are given this curve here, y equals x cubed minus x squared minus 2x. And we've been asked to find the area between the x-axis and the curve between minus 1 and 2. Okay, So you can see that between minus 1 and 0, we have positive, we're above the x-axis, which means that that would be, when you evaluate that integral, that definite integral, it would be um, positive. Whereas between 0 and 2, when you evaluate that integral, you're going to get a negative answer. Okay, So we have to separate them out when we're calculating the area. So the area is going to be the integral from minus 1 to 0 of x cubed minus x squared minus 2x dx. Now, because it's positive, it's because it's above, it's positive, so we can just evaluate the integral. But then we have to add on the absolute value of the integral from 0 to 2 of the same function, x cubed minus x squared minus 2x dx. So the main difference between this type of problem and the previous one is that you have to separate out um, your, de your definite integrals. So you have to really have a graph to appreciate where your curve is positive and where it's negative so that you can calculate the area correctly. Um, it isn't really that complicated because the actual